What's good, what's good? We back with a new video. And um, I know, man, the new year is right around the corner, man. So I, I want to get quick into this, cousin. I know I can go on. We try to make these videos between 10 minutes, man. So new year is right around the corner. I know everybody about to get ready to start making a new year resolution and all that stuff. You know what your new year resolution should be? It's to get rid of that whole stigma, the whole saying of new year resolution. Your resolution should be right now, today, not tomorrow, not next week, not not today is Monday. So New Year's, I think, is it's Wednesday or Tuesday. It shouldn't be then. It should be now. We keep waiting. We keep making these mistakes, man, of thinking things going to be different three days from now. Things only going to be different if you just do what this, what this slogan say. Just do it. You know, man, I was thinking about I wear a lot of Nike gear now. I love Nike gear because of the slogan. I think Nike got one of the best slogans in the world. Just do it. Just do it. It. We can't be waiting. We can't be waiting and hoping. This why, and I tell people, this why I don't have a religion. This why I don't believe in religion. We constantly wait. And I think that way it mess my whole belief system up waiting for somebody to help me when i've been living in this world for 27 years and i when i realize if i don't want to help myself nobody else gonna help me i can't be waiting and hoping and praying you know what i'm saying i don't want to get into the religion aspect because i don't want this video to turn into that and i don't know a lot of people miss the message once you bring religion into a, a topic people will 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 not even hear you They'll just turn you off and tune you out. And, you know, that's one of the road I took in the past when I was trying to get my message across. So I don't want to do that now. But I just want you to understand what, what, the way I live my life and my belief system is just do it. When I want to create a better world for myself, I just do it. When I want to make more money, I just stay at work. Knowing that I want to go home. Listen, a lot of uh, people been hitting me up about, yo, like, you really work seven days a week? You really work out seven days a week? Yes. Do I want to? No. You think I want to be at work for seven days out of a week? It's seven days in a week, right? You think I want to be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? No. I don't want to be in that fucking place all day. But I love what I do because it was an opportunity of a lifetime. I was granted an opportunity to build helicopters, something that I never, ever seen myself doing. I never seen myself building a fucking helicopter. Like, look at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had a life before all this, and now it's, my life is I build helicopters. Yeah, I never seen that possible. I, t I was able to take my daughter to visit and to and to look at and to be around helicopters. I never seen that I never seen that in my life. But sometimes you just have to live, bro, and things will change and you keep grinding. And people think and a lot of people think how I got to where I'm at because of my because I'm a single father and all that. No, that had nothing to do with it. How I got to where I was because I was grinding. I was working hard every day and people noticed it. I didn't get to where I was by waiting. I didn't get to where I was by praying and hoping. No disrespect. I didn't get to where I was by begging somebody to, yo, man, please hire me. I got to where I was because somebody said, yo, stop. Man, you here every day and you always working. I was a janitor, bro. You got to understand how embarrassing that is for me. It was embarrassing. Now I love where I, where I came, you know, the reason it was so embarrassing because I have been all over the United States painting water towels. Y'all know I started painting water towels at 17 years old. I left Mississippi when I was 17, started working on the road. I got to travel all around the United States. I was killing it, making a whole lot of money at 17. I'm making like $1,500 every Thursday. I'm, the minimum is $1,500. I'm making anywhere from... Fifteen to $3,000 every Thursday at 17 years old. I thought I had hit the gold mine. From a kid that's from Macon, Mississippi, a very small town, it ain't got nothing going on. From a kid that came from that, making 
15 at the minimum and we don't make minimums because then I was working seven days a week. So I'm, and that's, I always been a grinder. That's what you got to do. You got to look at yourself in the mirror and face the facts. Are you really a grinder? Do you really want success? You got to just look at yourself and ask yourself, do I really want this? A lot of y'all don't really want it. You're not willing to do the things that require you to really have it, to say that you really want it. What are you doing? What, are, what kind of discipline do you have? It's hard, bro. You got to just do it. I don't have this. Y'all know what Nike stands for. We just do it. This is why I wear so much Nike now. The slogan is just so fucking over the top. Just do it. Stop waiting for Wednesday or Tuesday, whenever New Year's is. I don't know when New Year's because it don't matter. It's a new fucking year. Oh, what? I'm still going to be doing the same thing I'm doing now. Grinding. Hungry. Stop waiting. Stop procrastinating. Your New Year resolution ain't no fucking... Get that out of your head. Get that out of your head. It's going to be a new year. I'm going to boot the woo. Start right now. You feel me? What that... What that dude with that commercial, that dude said, oh, you want to quit smoking? What you waiting on? Call me. You know, get off the couch. You ain't doing that anyway. Y'all know the commercial I'm talking about. Listen, make a change today. Make a change today, bro. And I'm going to go back to this. Yo, I was a janitor. It hurted me when I first, when I first moved back to Mississippi. Because some shit happened, you know. I, Y'all know I was living in the city. With my daughter. I can I didn't want to live in a place by myself with my daughter with no support system. So I moved back to Mississippi. Granted, it hurted me. I lost a lot of money moving back here. I, I was at the bottom. I was at the top. You know, making money, having fun, living my life, my daughter. Then all of a sudden I gotta move back to Mississippi where there's no money. I got to move back to a place where they paying seven twenty five. That shit hurt, bro. But you got to suffer to succeed. I promise you, you got to suffer to succeed. That's the only way it works. If you don't go through hardship and pain, you're not going to be successful. That's the only way it works. Now, for the people that fortunately enough to make it and be born into rich families, kudos to them. That's not true, though. That's not true, though. And if it's just you, okay, but we talking to the people that is not. People like me that started with zero. They have to suffer and eat fucking breadsticks. You know what I'm saying? Where they is sugar bread and all that, that bullshit. You know, cereals for, for lunch. We talking to them people. So listen, it hurted me when I had to move back to Mississippi. Because I knew out in my head... I didn't think I was going to be able to give my daughter the life that I'm able to give her now by being here in Mississippi. It hurt, bro. It hurt. It. And when I came back to Mississippi, I had to come back as a janitor. You understand that, bro? I've been up here. Now I got to go back to a place where I know I'm going to be down here. And on top of that, I got a kid with me. I'm a janitor? You said, you, you know what I did? I said, it's all right. I'm going to be the best fucking janitor out of this bitch. Now, granted, I wasn't like the average janitor where you had to clean bathroom and stuff like that. I, I guess I was fortunate enough to skip that. All I had to do was pick up trash and, and you know, dump the trash, mop, shit like that. It hurt it, bro. It hurt it so bad to me doing this, me pushing the mop around, man, it hurt it. It hurt it. it I ain't going to lie. It sucked. Then... I embraced it. You see how that, you see, listen, I embraced it. And I said, fuck that. I can't worry about what nobody else think. Why people look at me and I'm a judge. I got to get in here and bust my ass. Because I know I got a daughter to take care. I know I want a better life for her. I know when I look in the mirror, I know what I want for myself. I know what I want for myself. Do you know what you want for yourself? So when I look in the mirror, I had to say, man, you a gentleman. But you're going to be the best gentleman to out this motherfucker. You're going to have the trash up before they can even spell trash. You're going to have the flows mop before they can even step in the fucking building. You're going to do your job. And you're going to make sure they know you're doing your job. And one day, one day, somebody walked up to me. Man, 
you you a hard worker. The next day, somebody walked up to me. Yo, man, we love what you're doing here. The next day, somebody, it just started happening. And I seen a turn of event. Before you know it, we want you. I had two offers. I had two interviews in the same day to build helicopters. One to build helicopters and the other one, we're both on building, but one was sheet metal, which I do now. I'm a sheet metal mechanic for um, Airbus helicopters. I had an option to do sheet metal or to uh, the electrical wiring, you know, wiring of the helicopters. I had two interviews. Do you know how man, my life changed it right there? Because I realized that it's not about, and in some places it is who you know and what you know. But for me, it was about what I did every day. Because I worked in my butt off every day, I didn't wait till New Year. I've been at this place a year now. I had to work six months on a contract. I had to work six months on the contract, then I got hired in. Those six months, I, I only missed about 10 days out of six months. Out of six months, I missed only 10 days. And we were working seven days a week. So I wasn't making the money that I was that I'm making now because I was still in the contract, but I was still making a lot of money because I was working seven days a week. My life changed, man. My life changed so fast, bro. It just boom. So if I work hard, people notice it. And then sometimes it take years. Sometimes it take months, decades. But one day somebody gonna tap you on the shoulder and say, we want you. We want you. They literally had a, like a little small joking argument by no, I want him. No, I want him. No, nah, I want him. You telling me y'all want a janitor? Somebody that's in here busting their ass, mopping your flows, y'all want him? Y'all got me, baby. Y'all got me. If anything that gonna change me and my daughter life, you telling me a kid, a grown man now, but at once point in time, a kid, never thought about building a helicopter or working a helicopter, never been close up on the helicopter. I flew all over, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I done flew. I, I've been in planes, you know, for years, but never been in a helicopter, never been around a helicopter. You telling me this dude right here from the hood, from the bottom, from somewhere where it's nothing. It's they paying seven twenty five to 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 you know do simple shit. Well, I know motherfuckers making eighteen twenty dollars to work at a cash register in Texas. I know motherfucking working at Walmart making twenty some dollars in Omaha. I know motherfuckers in Cali making thirty dollars to work at a fucking cash register. I know motherfuckers that making eighteen dollar pushing a bucket. But in Mississippi, they paying motherfuckers seven twenty five. You think I wanted to come back to Mississippi? But I came back and I busted my ass and I didn't give a fuck what nobody else said. And I said I wasn't going to wait till New Year to be a better person. I'm just going to grind. And maybe somebody will notice it. And I got that tap on the shoulder every fucking day for like a week. Before you know it, I seen people pulling strings. I ain't going to get into deep. But how I got hired in, it was something special, bro. And it opened my eyes up to show that if you work hard, people should get you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go into, 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 into too much in depth into how I got hired in. But just know, if somebody wants you, they're going to have you. And, you know, if you worth it, if your worth is up there, they're going to get you. And they're going to do whatever they got to do to get you. They're going to make phone calls ASAP. Well, we want him. We need him. This boy busting his ass. Let me get it right because I don't like that boy shit. Young man busting his ass every day, man. We want him. Just don't wait. Look in the mirror and ask yourself what you want. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Stop waiting. Don't you need nobody else to tell you what you want. Only your opinion matter, bro. What you want. Go get it. Stop waiting. Get it. Eat. Hungry. You got to be hungry out this motherfucker. If you ain't hungry... Just, just, just go do something else with your time. If you, ain't, if you ain't hungry, just go lay down, bro. That's what a lot of people are doing. I don't want y'all to be that. But if you ain't hungry, all right, we understand. But for the people that are hungry, let's get it. Let's eat. We ain't waiting the new year. Let's get on the ground. Speed. If you got a, if you got a good dribbling, cause you got to be shifty. 
the big bill not gonna be fast so you gotta know how to pick your moves you gotta be patient they're the only type of people that can use the big bill patient dribblers picking their moves knowing the animation you you go out there with a big bill and you don't know how to dribble bro what are you gonna do what you gonna do what you gonna do now you ain't gonna do nothing you ain't gonna do nothing all you gonna do is waste your time and, and, and somebody else's time now if you got speed it can counter for your poor dribbling ability <laughs> 